Trap Nation followers, which we need. There's no one really subscribing. I have lots of viewers. And remember, the more subscribers, the quicker we get to um, the big truck giveaway that I plan to in the future. So I'll let you know what that number is going to be. And just remember, keep on subscribing. Truck Nation Canada. So right now, we're on our way down to go and test drive the um, Rebel. We're going to do the diesel and maybe the gas at the same time. So let's go. I'm pulling up to Team Chrysler, Mississauga, Ontario. Where we're going to go and test drive the Rebel. It's minus 14 today, folks. So... As you can see, it's pretty cold, and I'm still coming out to do this video for you. So please subscribe. Don't forget. Always ring that bell at the end. Subscribe. Better chances for you to win a truck in the future. Okay, we're rolling up now. Look at those Jeeps. Perfect setting. <laughs> right in the snow as they should be. Can't wait to when the diesel gets there. You definitely know we're going to test drive that. Okay. Go. Yeah, folks, this is what the Rebel is all about. This bad boy. This is the Rebel Diesel. A little lighter on the sound than the Hemi. This bad boy is just made for climbing. Not much of a snow bank, but you know, get what I'm saying. Walk around on both the Rebel Diesel first here with the tunnel cover and the Rebel the gas with the bad boy Hemi in it. You gotta love both of these trucks folks. Really nice. Nice shot. Sweet trucks. Let's get a more insight. On the outside, they both appear to be the same. Big differences. And right in here. Good. Yeah. Very quiet, right? <laughs> Although it's on high rev. That's the diesel for you. But, but you still get that nice look to the back. Nice dual exhaust. Okay. Now you come to the bad boy. That deep rumble. The heavy? Right here. Yeah. The big difference. I give it a little round. That's what you need. <laughs> that was to you, Ford. Beautiful truck. Nice, right? Okay, now we're gonna go and get some insight from Ishwar. The big difference on both of these trucks. Let's go. All right, so we are okay. in the Rebel Diesel at this yeah. time. 
quite an exceptional vehicle, especially if you do a lot of off-roading and so on. Yeah. The new 12-inch screen system is in this vehicle. Mm -hmm. Very nice um, operation the, on this. What's the big difference between this besides the main diesel and the gas? The well, the the gas one has yes options are different. That one has a panoramic sunroof. Mm -hmm. This one does not. Oh. But otherwise, all the features are similar except for the diesel engine. Okay. So they have like, different off-roading capabilities or the same? They're both the same okay. off-roading capabilities. Okay. But this so. one does it have more torque? I think this one will have more torque. Yes, definitely. The diesel is exceptional in that field. Mm -hmm. And uh, as we've been discussing before, the new diesel engine compared to the older diesel engine, mm -hmm. these are much more fuel efficient. Yeah, very smooth. And, yeah, yeah, much, much better engine. Still sounds good. It sounds very, very good. <laughs> I'm surprised. It's a heavy duty truck. That's yeah, one thing yeah. you won't get away from. It's, okay. You still feel like you're driving a real and the, beast. And the trims, can you get the, is it optional or it just comes so uh, with a new diesel, uh, we have the option for if you want the red leather seats and so mm -hmm. on. There is option. Oh, you still can get that with the regular one. Yes. Okay. So, and it's the same engine as going to be the same engine, Jeep. same configuration. Yeah, the same engine is going to be in all of our um, diesel vehicles, the Jeeps, mm -hmm. the Rebels. And these offers, one do they offer like um, the leveling and stuff like that? Like when you go off road. For the Ram Rebels, you do, if you want, you can, um, the air suspension, we can order you a vehicle with that if you like. With the upper system, oh, okay. Yes. I like the layout. And you can get them with the, for the diesel. With oh yeah, the you can well? get the roof, it's just an option. Oh, it's just All of a vehicle that panoramic sunroof is an option. Oh, okay. So some people like it, some people don't. So especially if you have kids and you yeah. have no choice, you have to get it. How but expensive is the option? Uh, the panoramic sunroof is about sixteen ninety-five. Okay, that's not bad. Yeah. But when you break it into the monthly payments, it's yeah, it's very. That's about I'd say about six dollars to your mm -hmm. bi-weekly payments. And would you find this one is torqueier off the line than the Hemi? Well, the gas engines um, gives you a little faster response mm -hmm. all the time. But now with the new diesel engine, mm -hmm. it's comparative. It's okay. almost the same. And they got these ones have turbo or just it's a two. Turbo. Yes. Twin or just some same with this same. one? Okay, it's not like the competition. Yeah. Wouldn't call its name. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's nice though. Yeah, uh, lots of cubby holes, options and so on. Mm -hmm. Storage. Huge storage space here. Mm -hmm. I like this. You know if there's any difference with the twenty ones or no? Not much. And this is that a CD? In here? No, this one does not have a CD player. This one here is just a. Mm, I see something say full here. Yeah. No, that's not a CD. Just a access. Oh. So what what this is is maximum full line because mm -hmm. you can't put anything above this mm -hmm. because you in case you need to move this back. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. Okay. And are these offered with the six seaters? On the rebels? Or only on the work truck? Only on the work trucks, not on these um on the stack. Okay. Not here. Yeah. Okay. I like this one man. It is a very, very capable vehicle. Mm -hmm. it's, it goes so deep. <laughs> 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 like it actually sounds it you know? is. It sounds like it's bigger. It sounds different when you're outside. It's so quiet. Yes. But yes. when you're inside, it feels like you have a bigger engine. Yeah, you you feel the power. Yeah. Like I was expecting a like, yeah. but there's no like. <laughs> like when you touch the acceleration, because they say cruising. diesels have legs, right? Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. That was the old. Yes. The old diesels. Yeah, they've got a lot, got a lot of improvements. Yeah. So it's good, man. Oh. And it slows you right down as soon as you get here, you put off the that. acceleration. Yes. That's pretty good. Yeah. Mm. Oh, they drive a big truck and <laughs> diesel. And, uh, <laughs> 
be crawling off the land. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Not with these babies. But if you find people prefer the diesel or the... Well, it all depends on uh, how much driving you do because mm -hmm. it does give you better fuel efficiency. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to do like over 30,000 kilometers a year, mm -hmm. then a diesel may be the option for you just mm -hmm. to save on fuel. Oh, okay. Otherwise, the Hemis, uh, the, the gas trucks are very... So these are like much better than the gas? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So for work vehicles, mm -hmm. it will be fuel economy. Yes. Okay. Okay, let's check out this turbo, folks. I think we get it open. <laughs> this is the embarrassing moment. Yes, I really do drive a Dodge vehicle. <laughs> Nice. Now where's the turbo? Oh, oh is that the back? Can we pick that to add to the gear? Well, it just looks like a regular engine when you pop it. Like this, you know? It does. And do these come in the e -tech? Or is it, it not on? It um, on the diesel, you would be able to get in. Yeah? But not the... Yeah. On that too? Yeah. Oh, what is it? I don't think you get in the first one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're going to have to do it. Yeah, they should. It doesn't matter. It's so quiet. So different than the old diesels, you know? Yeah. I love the LED lights. So this is such a big upgrade for Dodge, you know? This is a huge difference. Yeah. Night. For safety, yeah. it is. When you see them at night, it's really nice. But this sits, does the Rebel sit higher than the Sport? The Rebel sits a little higher in the sport, yeah. If, 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 if you notice, the Rebel's on it, the tires are much more aggressive also. Yeah, yeah. yeah. basically for off right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, like the, the one down from the Raptor. Yes. Yeah. On the, until the TRX comes, that's all I got to say. We <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. huh? yeah, are all the Eagle here. Oh, yeah, and that TRX come? Bye-bye Raptor, that's all I got to say. Nice. Those are aggressive looking tires. Are you the same size 20? Yeah. It's big though. And the grip, I guess, is much better than the, uh, the regular one. Much, much. Yeah. And do they have the reclining seats in these as well? No. Oh. No. Not in the Rebel. Not in the Rebel. We have lots of room in the back there. Yeah, still a lot of room. Lots and lots of room. Okay. And still the storage in the floors. And you have lots, yes. You have a little... You could use this as an ice cooler. You could put some refreshment, some ice and so on. Does it have a drain plug? No, it comes oh. out and you can oh. drain it out. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Both still lots ice. of room. Yeah. And all the controls are in the back. Yes. Yeah. Just like the one. Couple of USB, you have a one fifteen volt outlet back there. Mm -hmm. Where they used to be their hair dryers and so on. Yeah. <laughs> you think? <laughs> uh, what about the, uh, the split door? Can you get that as well with these, or that's a? Uh... Yes, yes, it's an option in all the rounds. Okay. Right, yeah, right now they're in the upper model, like the limited and so on. Yeah, they um, come right with the. Well, we can get you one in any of them. Finish this one. Now we're gonna check out the the beast. <laughs> I love the fur of that man.